Hello everyone, this is Suyog. Welcome to my channel, Learn Tableau with Suyog. Also, please subscribe to my channel uh, as I will be posting more videos like this one to help you build your interactive resume in Tableau Public and also help you learn Tableau one visualization at a time. In this video, I will show you how to create timeline also known as Gantt chart. Let's start with managing our data sources. This is how I have structured my data for this timeline chart. Education oblique experience, start date, end date, and duration are required fields for this graph. I'm keeping institution and location here as I'll be using that for other graphs and filters for future videos. You can calculate duration here in the sheet itself. It's just like end date minus start date. Now I have connected my Google Sheet to Tableau. If you don't know how to connect your Google Sheet to Tableau, then please refer to my previous video. The link is showing on the screen. You can calculate duration in Tableau as well if you haven't done that in Google Sheet. Just create a calculated field. You can click on a small triangle near start date or end date and click on create calculated field. Rename the calculation to duration calculated and simply type the formula end date minus start date and click on apply and OK. As you can see, additional column is been created for this and showing similar values like we did in the Google Sheet. You can create calculated fields in sheet view as well. For this, simply click on a small triangle in data pane and create the same calculation which we did on data source view. You can see those calculated fields in major section and are shown with the prefix of equal sign. Prefix of equal sign indicates that it's calculated field. I'm going to delete those calculated fields since we already have duration calculated in Google Sheet. In order to create timeline chart, click on education experience and simply drag it and drop it on the rows. Similarly, drag and drop uh, start date on columns. As you can see, start date is in blue. That means it's discrete. You can change it to continuous. Now you can drag duration and drop it on the size in marks card. Currently, as you can see, education oblique experience is not in chronological order so to do that you need to sort education public experience by a field in descending order and select a field name as end date and aggregation to maximum as you can see now it's sorted in chronological order Now, you may want to drag end date and start date to label in marks card to show labels uh, in the graph. Again, change those to continuous. Since it's showing entire month name and year, it looks little crowded, isn't it? You may want to change date format for this end date and start date to custom and simply type MMM space YY. So now it will show short name for month 
and only last two digits of year. If you want to create a reference line in this graph, then right click on the marks card and create a new calculation and type today open bracket close bracket and change the type to continuous. In graph, right click on the axis and click on add reference line. You can keep the scope to per pane, uh, change the value to newly created field which is today, open bracket, close bracket, and change the label to value. It doesn't matter if you change the value maximum, minimum. Click on OK and as you can see, a reference line is been added to the graph. Currently, it's showing month and year, but you can change that to show the exact date. You can change the label of the axis by right clicking on the axis and then edit the axis and change axis title to date. Lastly, you can rename the sheet as timeline.